Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Design Talk, I want to talk a little bit about industrial design. Now, I'm not an industrial designer by trade, but I do watch quite a few of them on YouTube. And uh, one of the ones I really enjoy is Eric Stebel. He's a fellow Michigander, and he is uh, an industrial designer. And I love watching his videos, uh, mainly to look at how he thinks about things. And that's what I want to talk about in this episode of Design Talk. Because, again, that's one of the reasons I created this series of Design Talk is to kind of look at different you know, situations. I really don't want to call them problems, but to see what can develop out of them. So one of my situations is, um, as you get older, you take a lot of prescription medication. I'm no different. Now, organizing it, not only for looks, but functionality is very important. So I got thinking about how could I do that after watching a couple of Eric's videos. And I came up with what you see here. And I kind of want to talk through the various pieces. Because, again, one of the, the things, if you're going to take a product from design phase to commercialization, the devil really is in the detail, folks. And, and so I want to share with you kind of the detail I thought through this project with. So one of the first things I did is I started with the bottles themselves. So what I did is I isolated the two sizes of bottles I typically get, which are these two sizes. And then I started taking a look at the dynamics of the bottle. Now, one of the things on the surface they appear to be the same size right from the top from the bottom to the top right well that's really not the case because if I take a set of calibers I look at 37 6 at the bottom and 38 6 at the top so I'm assuming that these were intended to be stacked one inside the other for transport so the bottom is smaller than the top so what does that tell me that tells me I can come up with a design that that um, allows it to cinch at the top rather than at the bottom and it can slide into it. And the same is also true for this bottle. Now one of the other dimensions I also had to take a look at is this top because this top extends beyond this this bottom piece. So I need enough separation or needed enough separation in these holes to so my um, bottles would separate themselves at a reasonable distance where the uh, heads wouldn't collide. So I had to think about that. Now one of the other pieces um, that you notice here is this bigger opening which I just used my Dixie cup for another experiment which you'll see in another video so unfortunately I don't have it here to show it to you but one of the things I travel for business a lot and what I do is uh, to organize my medications is I take Dixie cups and I have one morning and night for one week and what I do is I will lay them on their sides in this to kind of contain them instead of being thrown all over the drawer because my wife allows me one drawer to keep all my pills in. So I wanted to organize it. So I got, again, thinking. So I know I have a dimensional situation here, or an opportunity, if you will. And so I got thinking about uh, laying it out. Now, simplicity is also key for production. So because I have this uniqueness in these bottles, I could utilize two of the same uh, platens if you will or whatever you want to call these I'm not sure what you would call these but um, again so that served double duty and which was really good and again if you're thinking about productization and you're going to sell this you also have to think about shipping so you could ship this as an easy to assemble kit this is it ships very flat um, and so very you know economical to ship so again these are all things if you're going to take a product from design to commercialization you need to think about shipping is the key component so the other piece that I had to think through was you know feet I needed feet so I printed these actually out of TPU but I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit because one of the things I wanted to make this easy I wanted to make it interestingly interestingly uh, interesting looking and so I decided to use these brass standoffs. I had them handy. I've also got some plastic ones. You could use nylon. Uh, I like the brass. It gives it a little bit of a metal look. Um, it, you know, so I decided that what I would do is I would take two of these, design up one, take two of them, and have it like this. Now, the other interesting thing is I could take and utilize the bottom of my drawer or whatever to be the final, uh, you know, uh, resting point of the bottle so basically what happens is the bottle comes through and if I line this up sits like that and boom Bob's your uncle and so we have a little bit of added distance down here with the feet 
and really comes out kind of nice. So it's interesting looking. It has depth. It has sustenance. It's, it's artistically appealing. Um, and it's easy to ship and, and assemble. So you could sell this, you know, as a practical kit. Um, now, the other piece, too, when you look at this, uh, you know, and printing it out, there's a, there's, a, there's a good side and a bad side. And, well, I would say a good side, I mean, a better side and a good side. And so this is the top. And we all know when we 3D print something, where it, it comes on the bed, it's very flat and shiny. So, again, one of the things, if I'm going to be doing this commercially, I want to orientate this in the most appealing way. So I want to think about these things. You know, what side is the most attractive? And so I'm going to want to have this side up. The other piece I want to talk about a little bit is washers. I love washers. Now, th there's an up and a downside to washers. Now, I'm using M3s to assemble this. So, other tip, have lots of M3s handy. They're an excellent size for building various projects. They're relatively economical, um, and I just find them super handy. So, I've got a whole selection of M3s. So, I've got, actually what I do is I go uh, M2s, M3s, and M4s. So, I have a complete set of all those. Um, and it comes in super handy. But back to the washer. Now, washers can be somewhat expensive. But washers give a unique depth as well as mechanical functionality. So, one of the pieces, I'm going to set this here so I can get this off. So in here, I actually designed these feet to receive a washer. There's a washer underneath this, um, which is a little bit hard to get out because I kind of screwed them in here. But there's a washer down here. And so what that does is unify the pressure against here. So I'm going to have greater longevity because there's less likelihood that this is going to pull through over time. And the other piece, as we start assembling this, and I start using a washer... What this is going to do is uh, actually a couple different things. One is it's going to cover up any cosmetic deficiencies I might have actually in this, as well as it's going to make it more appealing. So when somebody sees this with a washer on it, so if we take a look at this, this gives it far more mechanical depth. Now, there is also a mechanical addition to this, uh, obviously, because we're distributing the pull of these M3s, you know, in a greater area. But I really like the looks of washers. When I see something like this, I, I think to myself, you know, somebody put a little bit of extra forethought into this design uh, by using washers, and it makes it look a little bit more expensive, at least in my book. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, below. So again, it's, uh, you know, assembly is very simple. And you could even include a cheap Allen wrench uh, with your project if you wanted to sell it as a kit. Uh, it wouldn't be too horribly bad to, to sell this totally assembled. One of the things to kind of keep in mind as you're doing something going from design to commercialization is assembly. Assembly can become very expensive or assembly can be rather cheap. So, and there are a lot of different opportunities uh, for assembly, especially something like this. Obviously, if it's a low volume, you can probably do it yourself, get relatives, but there's also a lot of opportunities out there. Um, I, I've seen, uh, you know, small companies, which is really great, em employ, you know, the mentally challenged in, in certain situations in assembly, which is great. It gives them an opportunity to earn income. It gives the uh, production facility, you know, a, a reasonable cost resource uh, for building something and getting on the market. So it's really a win-win. So there's a lot of different types of opportunities, I think, out there if you just simply explore it for the assembly, especially for something that's pretty straightforward, such as, such as this is. And and so now I'm just going to go ahead and put the stanchions on. I'm not going to use a washer on the bottom because why? You don't see it. So why should I spend the extra money for a washer on the bottom? Uh, and there's enough uh, overlap with this to, you know, give it enough structural integrity where there's not really a problem. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the rest of this together. So 
So, welcome back. Here we go. We've got it all assembled and uh, turned out really nice. I mean, I really like the looks of this. You could offer this in different colors. And, and again, when you see, when I set it on the thing, you can't see below, this kind of rises up. They're actually setting on the table. Now, what this is also doing is, you know, again, I can pull it out, easy access to get to it. I can pop these out. And what, I, what I've done is a little bit of forethought, and I'll probably add a little bit to this in the future, is I've actually arranged it so I can come from front to back and back to front. So I will put my pills that are more commonly used up here, my less commonly used ones are as needed back here, and I can easily get to them. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is actually putting maybe some dividers uh, on here to kind of separate it, but I thought that got a little bit too unique to my use case and, and less in a general use case. Let me know down in the comments below what you would think about, you know, what else could I add to this? And now I could I can also put my cups in here for, you know, um, you know, having my pill separations and that kind of stuff. So I thought it turned out great. And again, this was really a quick project. I did the design of this actually in Inkscape because it was just so quick. Imported it actually into Tinkercad just to extrude it and sent it off to the printer. So literally it took me, oh, well under a half hour to design this. Probably even that's uh, twice the time I really needed. Uh, most of the time we actually was spent thinking about the pill bottles themselves on how to orientate them and how I would use uh, my space. Because the other thing I forgot to mention is, is my drawer that I'm allowed to have these pills in only has so much clearance. So it had to be, you know, all work a certain way. And so I had to also take that application in mind. Uh, the other piece that's nice is I can carry my pills around like this. So uh, one of the things that, that I might do in the future too is add maybe a little bit of a lip down here to this bottom to catch the cups because if I do take this over to the kitchen table um, to sort my pills, obviously the cups won't come with it because they'll just fall through. But usually uh, I just take the cups out, set them on the counter, open the drawer, take the pills out, put them in the cups, then dump the contents of the cups into pill bags. So anyways, I will have links to M3s, the standoffs. I'll put these uh, STLs out on Thingiverse. Um, I'll probably do up one without the cup holder or uh, piece here um, by the time you see this video. So if you don't want the cup holder, you don't have the same need, that's fine. If you do, hey, here it is. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, you know, the journey from, again, concept and design, solving a problem to commercialization and some of the things to think about it. You know, how to package for shipping, how to arrange it, potential workforces for assembly. Again, devil's in the detail, folks. I can't stress that enough. So anyways, don't forget the bell button is be over there. Actually, you got to hit the one down below. That's just a reminder. And Swag Shop's in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.